Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a playing with makeup video for you guys. Um, I did do my base makeup and my eyebrows off camera. I did film my how to achieve a flawless face. Anyway, so today I really want to use this Jeffree Star lipstick in the shade Abused. I've owned it for quite some time now, but I haven't had a chance to use it. So I was like, Laura, you're going to use this today. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But if it does, it does. Um, I've already primed my eyes using Max Soft Over Paint Pot. So yeah, let's just get started, I guess. I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to line my lips and apply this lipstick and then I will work on the eyes because I've never used this before so I don't really know how dark or what it's even going to look like. I'm going to start by lining my lips. This is not the right colour at all but this is the Essence Lip Line in the shade Satin Noir and I'm just going to line my lips really, really quickly. Okay, now I'm going to take Abused. I've never even opened this before. Ooh, Ooh this smells like sarsaparilla. I love this. This smells amazing. This does not smell like my other ones. It smells like sarsaparilla. If you're like Asian or you know what sarsaparilla is, this is what this smells like. Oh yes. I'm possibly going to need a lip brush. I always find the lower lip so much easier to line than the upper lip. Ooh. There was no point in me using that satin noir lip liner, but anyway. Oh my god, like, yes, 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 yes. I've been looking for a dark navy lip for so long. I think I love this more than I love blue velvet. Like, I'm not even kidding. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, I am so happy. Like, you guys have no idea how happy I am. I'll probably have to change my top, but I don't even care. I love this colour so much. Okay, so I just pulled out a few palettes from my collection that I think I might use today. Um, I'm going to start off with my staple shade. It's my favourite shade ever. It's Nudie from Too Faced. It's this one right here. And I'm just going to take that on my blending brush. I love this shade so much. I'm just going to work that into the crease. Um, I did already apply my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, but I just love this colour. It just works so well with my skin tone. It's like the perfect, like, it's not too warm, it's not too cool toned brown for any look. Anyway, so what's new with you guys? Comment down below, because I'd love to hear about it. Um, I was watching a video a few days ago, and it was about fuckboys. Seriously, so over fuckboys. Like, oh. I can't even deal. The video that I watched was from Trisha Paytas, um, I believe that's her name, and no joke, she gives me so much life. I know a lot of people don't like her, so I'm looking into the mirror, so if I'm not looking at the camera, that's why. Um, I know a lot of people don't like her, but to be honest, I love her. Like, she is hilarious. Um, I know a lot of her videos are like clickbait kind of things, but seriously, I love her. Like, I've been watching her for years, and she's just so funny and like days that you're having a shit day like not all her videos are funny don't get me wrong but like if you're having a shit day like chances are if you go onto a chat onto her channel and click on like two videos at least one of those videos is going to be like hilarious i love her so much um i just think she's got like a great personality and i feel like she gets so much hate unnecessarily anyway I'm just going to take the white, which is called Heaven, and I'm just going to whack that underneath my brow bone. I love this brush from Real Techniques so much. It's called their Base Shadow Brush. It's just such an amazing brush. Um, I think I want to take Mousse from the Chocolate Bar Semi Sweet Palette. Tapping off any excess, I'm just going to run that through the crease as well. Whenever I do a bold lip, I always like to put on the lipstick first. Um, unless it's like a red or something where I know how it's going to work out. But if it's like a navy blue, I always like to put it on first so I can know what to do with my eyes. Just so it all balances out seamlessly. I really want to put some like dark shade in there. I might use Hot Fudge, which is this one up here. It doesn't even look as like, it's like a blue based brown, I guess. I don't really know. I'm not really the best at describing things. But I'm just going to put that on the outer portion of my eye. Oh wow, that's a lot darker than what I thought it would be, but that's okay. I've actually never used this shade before. I'm just putting it like kind of like on my lash line, but kind of going up a little bit. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. But yeah, like fuck boys, like I'm so over it. Me and my friend Victoria, 
Um, she has a YouTube channel. I'll link it down below if she wants me to. I'll ask her. Um, yeah, we talk about it all the time. Like, every single guy that we both talk to, like, she lives in Melbourne, I live in Sydney. Like, every guy that we talk to, they're just, like, they're absolute dicks. Oh, Where you live, if you're single, or even if you're not single, like, your past experiences, why are they so stupid? Like, if you have an explanation, please tell me in the comments down below, because I would love to hear your explanation. If you are a fuckboy and you've randomly stumbled across this video, please tell me, why are boys so fuckboy-y? Is that even a word? I don't know. This is just a clean blending brush that I'm using to blend out that hot fudge shade. Hot fudge, that's such a random name. Oh, that shade's gone patchy. Nah. I'm going to take a little bit of pudding, which is this one right here, and I'm just going to take that same brush. I'm just going to wipe off some of the excess onto my hand of that hot fudge shade. I'm just going to take pudding, and I'm just going to put that kind of here. Oh wow, that's a lot darker as well. Okay, taking my MAC palette, what colour am I going to use? What colour am I going to use? I think I'm going to take a little bit of this colour. I don't really know what it's called. I think it's Omega. No, this is called Wedge. I'm just going to wedge that into my socket. Do you see what I did there? Do you see what I did there? For some reason, like I've got a lot of black shadow underneath my eye. I don't even know how I did that. I'm going to grab a bit of wedge on my pencil brush. And I'm just going to brush that along my lower lashes. Let's talk about signs on if you think a boy is a fuckboy. I personally think if a boy does not tell his friends about you, he's a fuckboy. Like, not if you've been talking for like a week. But like if you've been talking for like a good few like few weeks, a month or so, and he hasn't told your friends about you, it's like, fuck boy. Also, if you take a selfie and he's like, make sure I'm not in the background, it's like, fuck, like, bro, chill out. Does anyone else, now I might be really, really weird, but does anybody else try and savour the newness of their packaging as much as they can? I own one of these MAC 15 palettes already, and I took the plastic off as soon as I got it, and it was, it's all scratched and all beaten so now I try and like keep the plastic on it for as long as I can is that really really weird probably is I don't really know okay I'm gonna grab a little bit of this maroon shade I think this is called sketch no it's called embark I fail at life <laughs> I'm just gonna work that through my crease a little bit just to give it a bit of not really warmth because it's not really warm tone but just give it a bit of colour because I feel like maroon and navy go so well together. I actually feel so much more like myself in this video. Like, I don't feel so reserved. Like, sometimes when I film my videos, I feel like, oh, I can't really say something like that. But in this video, I just don't care. Like, I love it so much. I don't know what happened to me recently, but I've just kind of stopped giving two shits what other people think. And seriously, I am so happy now. So, so happy. I'm going to take the shade, it's called Frosting, from the Semi Sweet palette, and I'm going to put that onto my eye. Um, I don't really know how it's going to work out, but we're going to give it a go. I don't want to put it all the way into the inner corner, because I don't want this look to be way, way dark, but I am going to put it kind of to about a quarter of the way, so only a quarter is there with no Okay guys, sorry about that, my camera did cut out. Um, what I did was I applied that shade to about a quarter of my eye, so only a quarter of the eye was bare. And then I went in with Saddle from MAC. It is this shade right here, and I literally just popped it right there. Um, I feel like because it's not too dark, it's not too light, so it didn't add too much light to the look. Um, but it did kind of cover the eyelid and add a little bit of texture, which I appreciated. Um, now I'm going to move on to my face itself. Um, actually, no, I'm going to put on lashes first. I've been so addicted to Spotify recently. Like, it's so good. It's how I find all my new songs. Seriously, I'm so in love with it. I just took my makeup bag out of my bag. Um, this is the L'Oreal Super Liner Precision Slim. I like it because it's a felt tip, so you can get a very, very thin and a very, very precise line. Um, I'm not going to do a wing, I'm just going to do a line so it masks the eyelash band. I only recently started doing this, and I've been noticing such a difference with how my eyes look. Especially in photos, like my eyes just look more defined. Like, I don't know if you can notice at all, but I can tell a huge difference. 
Anyway, going back to my fuckboy rant, um, Trisha was mentioning um, he's a fuckboy if you message him and he never messages you back or like he'll only message you when it's convenient for him and girl, you've got it to a T with that one. Like, I don't get why some guys, they'll only talk to you when it's convenient for them. Like, seriously, I'm so over it. I was talking to this guy for so long and he was treating me like he was literally treating me like shit. And I was just like, you know what? See you later. And then no joke, he was like, oh, why aren't you talking to me anymore? It's like, buddy, you treated me like shit for like a good few weeks. Like, I'm not about that life. Go away. I don't know. Like, I have decided that I'm not going to take shit from anybody anymore. It's like, if we make plans and you cancel on me, unless you make the plans, like, it, unless you make following plans after that, I'm not going to put in any effort with you. Like, that's not just boys, that, that's like even my real life friends. Um, like I personally will never cancel on anybody last minute or cancel on anybody in general unless like there's something genuinely wrong. I think in my whole life I've probably canceled on Fran once. Um, I've been late before, which I feel really shit about, but like I've never like, like I've only once canceled on her for a genuine reason. Um, and I feel like like, Fran is my dearest friend, and I feel like people will always make time for people that they want to spend time with, regardless of how busy they are. Like, I remember at one stage I was working 80 hours a week, and it was death. Did I still make time to see Fran? Of course I did, because she is my best friend. Um, would I make time to see other people? No, because they weren't worth my time at that stage. So I've decided if people do not want to spend time with me, I don't want to spend time with them either. See you later. I think I put way too much lash glue on this eyelash. There we go. If you ever accidentally put too much glue on your eyelash, just literally touch it onto your finger and then it'll come off onto your finger. And then you can just kind of roll it away. Okay, lashes are on. I'm just going to wait for the lash glue to dry. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just gonna put mascara on my lower lashes and then we're gonna move on to bronzer. Oh my goodness, I feel like I've just been talking for ages. Anyway, yeah, like, if a boy that you've been texting doesn't text you back, then tell him goodbye, because that's what I did, and I'm so much happier now. And, like, boys that treat you like shit, it's like, just see you never. Like, bye. That's what I've started to do, and no joke, I'm so much happier in life now, because at the end of the day, if he really likes you, he won't let you get away. Like, he'll do everything to make you want to stay with him. And if he does not do that, like tell him, see you never, bye bye. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna be taking my Models Prefer Mineral Power Soft Touch in Glow 2. I'm gonna be using this shade here, it's called Cool Bronze. Um, if I get a little bit of the other shades, I don't really care, but I'm gonna focus my brush on that quadrant. And I'm just gonna apply this kind of to the hollows of my cheeks. This brush I hate so much. This is from Sedona Lace. I only use it because I have it. Um, but seriously, it is so incredibly shit. Like I've had it for years and every single time I wash it, it sheds like crazy. It's like, why? Why? What did I do to deserve this? I like this bronzer because it's not completely matte, but it's not shimmery either. It's got more of a satin feel to it and it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't really know what I want to do for blush, so I'm just going to take the super, super bronzy shade out of that um, trio. This is called Soft Focus, and I'm just going to grab a little bit. I'm just going to dust that kind of where my blush would normally go. I'm just going to take my Mary Luminizer on this Real Techniques fake Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to dust this on top of my cheekbones. I love this brush because it makes your highlighter so concentrated. like. Can we just take a minute to appreciate? Like, oh my dear goodness. And I'm just gonna tap on a little bit above my eyebrow as well. I do wanna put a little bit underneath my eyebrow. I'll do that in a minute. But like, seriously, like, can we just look at that glow? Like, seriously, it is divine. Now I'm gonna highlight the peak of the eyebrow as well, just so it kind of matches with the rest of the highlight. Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm super, super happy with how this look turned out. I feel so badass. I love it so much. 
Um, definitely comment down below what you thought of this look or what you hate about fuckboys. I don't know. Comment whatever you want. I'd love to talk to you guys. And yes, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.